What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Sonora Design and guess what? Today is going to be the best day ever because we are making the soundbar. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we are making the soundbar. It's not just any soundbar, it's the soundbar, okay? Or you can call it a boombox, or you can call it a wireless speaker, or you can call it Bluetooth speaker. It's been a while, I know. I wish I had posted this video before. And I really thought everything was going to be different by now because, I mean, we have 10 videos on the channel already. That means everything should be new and different, right? But it's not because I didn't have much time to work on it. So let's move on, guys, because there's a lot to do and I don't want to waste much time now. Okay, here we are. And I have the computer. Today, I'm feeling a little more European, so I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna go to soundimports.eu, okay? So they cover the whole European Union and much more. And they have all the brands we're gonna use today. And they have more brands, actually. So that's Sound Imports, and here we are. They have all those brands, Monocore, Mark Audio, Dayton, Mini DSP, Hypex, Sias, which I love it. So if you're in Europe, you can just Jump in and buy everything from soundimports.eu. If you are in America, you can go do your own research and get the parts from Parts Express and some other websites. I'm going to post all the information on the link down below. So don't worry for now. Once we are here on Sound Imports, I'm going to show you the amplifier we're going to use. Okay, and guess what? They have it for sale on their website. Thanks, Sound Imports. You guys are amazing. So we have the Aurelic Up2 Stream Amp 2.0 V4, which is a Wi Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 stereo amplifier board. And it sells for 99.95 euros. Good thing about this amp, you can make your own own system at home connect multiple speakers through Wi-Fi and control all of them through the app Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.0 DLNA AirPlay Spotify Deezer Tidal and we're gonna start with this one not only because of everything that I was talking but you can plug it in and change the equalization so we are gonna use the Aurelic and guess what we are gonna use the Dayton Audio Reference RS100 4 ohms. Why? Because it's a great driver. And guess what? I have a few here. RS100. So we're gonna use two RS100. Oh damn it! It's pretty hot. I'm trying to be quick so I don't start sweating. Okay. We have two RS100s. This is a aluminum cone, a uh, full range driver from Dayton Audio. And we are gonna use two each side. So we get a lot of bass and a lot of mids and a lot of, not a lot of highs. Now we need a tweeter because those drivers, even though they're a full range driver, uh, the frequency response, like the highs, they're super directional, so you gotta sit in front of the driver to hear the highs. Then we're gonna add a tweeter to help. Woofer, tweeter, woofer, woofer, tweeter, woofer. And I have the tweeter here from Dayton Audio. It's a Dayton Audio ND28F, 6 ohms, 118, neodymium dom tweeter. That's our tweeter. We have the woofer. And this is gonna be our box. So the thing is, we're gonna connect those in eight ohms in series. Okay, so at the end, we're gonna get eight ohms. And the tweeter is six ohms. And that's what we're gonna work with, different impedance. And we have the amplifier. 
This is the Aurelic Up to Stream version 4. And guess what? You can add uh, accessories to this board. All different kinds of boards that will help like operating this amplifier. So I just got the volume control because I wanted a, a manual volume control. And I ordered the, yeah, I don't know. But they have all kinds of expansion boards on the website. You only need some pieces of wood, put it together, and you have a great system. Let's move on. All right, guys, let's catch some ideas. some ideas here we are gonna make a sound bar that looks like this and that's the side view we're gonna make a metal leg okay at this time and maybe incline it a little bit just like to make it more interesting more appreciable more delightful I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the screen or not but let's pretend we want the screen just to protect it from the kids that like push Twitters that's the screen. Legs, metal legs, side view, front view, and I guess we have pretty much everything we need. We're going to use hardwood, but you're going to say, oh, come on, hardwood is so expensive. Actually, I'm using kind of leftover hardwood, okay? So it's not that expensive. It's a little cheaper. And guess what? If you want plywood with veneer plus the hardwood edge bands, it's not that cheap either. The thing is, I go to my local hardware store and they have all kinds of hardwoods, exotic woods, and they have the shorties, which means they have small pieces of walnut that are cheaper. I don't buy like wide, long boards of walnut for like 20 bucks a board foot. But for our speaker, it works perfectly. We're gonna put them together and make an impressive, beautiful, hardwood walnut box let's move on guys all right good morning guys so the wood might be ready let's check it out huh. we have the side and we have the top and the bottom i just gotta cut it and glue it kind of i was checking the speaker size the internal volume and we need around 10 liters each side super easy okay a little bit of glue which is all right we remove it hmm <laughs> and dig a hole in the wood right so guys we're gonna plane all that okay cut to the size and glue it all together it's not that easy because we have to get all the measurements right let's move on
right guys, so today's next day and the glue is dry. I made a mistake here, I gotta tell you guys. As you know, sometimes like shit happens. I wanna show you that shit happens. Okay, so for now, let's remove the clamps. Ah, quick. Today's kind of like the third day of the best day ever. I like to divide my days in like weeks. Like a week, kind of like the opposite of those guys that try to <laughs> combine three days in one day and get everything done. I do the opposite. I combine one day in a week. So by day last a week, I think I have more time. Am I gonna live longer maybe? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, because I have more days. I'm multiplying my time times seven. Okay, so the thing is, this is our sound bar. It's the bar gonna show you that here I routed I routed the top and the bottom because I wanted to put the walls here the thing is that I shouldn't have routed it all the way because we're gonna run the rabbiting bit here so we need the surface to be flat so I missed it by one and a half inches shit so we're gonna patch it we're gonna run the rabbiting bit here and it's gonna look perfect. So let's patch this thing and get it ready for the router. Yeah, cause it's looking good. guys so we're gonna start routing the corners okay I mean the edges I don't know whatever we have the rabbiting bit the thing is it's hardwood if we start cutting the depth like the length we want here it might crack the wood because it's too much so we have a bearing set here okay that's bearing set so we can switch bearings and uh, adjust the length the length of our cut I'm gonna switch the bearing here and I put like a wider one so we're gonna cut like just the tip of the wood okay so I don't crack it don't break the wood it's kind of hard wood and we never know like the grain goes uh, which direction so we can make a chip uh, piece of wood and we don't want that so let's be careful and adjust our rabbiting bit to cut just a little bit of the wood then we keep like changing the the, the bearings and until we get the size we want okay that's it let's start it Let me show you guys. I went too deep with the rabbiting bee. Then the second bee with a different bearing. Just carved this part here. And now I'm gonna use the flush trim bead to finish the job. So we're gonna now make it flush and we can fit our front baffle and the screen. So let's go back to the router again. Yeah. Ay, 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 caramba. Guys, we have a problem. 
I was using the flush bit, and guess what? It's so skinny, it cracked the wood. I don't know. The thing is, this bit might crack the wood again. I was passing the router. I was trying to make it flush, and the wood just cracked, because the grain is this way, and the bit goes this way, so it pulls it up. So, that's our problem, Houston! And I'm gonna glue this piece of wood, I just want to let you guys know that shit happens. <laughs> Let's get solutions and it's going to look good at the end. All right, guys. So while the wood is drying, the glue is drying, we're going to think about our legs, the metal legs. Okay. And as the drawing shows, the metal legs would be like a flat piece of metal, three quarters by three quarters and we're gonna have a extension here which is gonna be around one and a half inches one five eighths like four centimeters and we're gonna have a plate here which which is gonna be attached to our speaker okay so i'm gonna cut them all and where's my thing i'm gonna cut the metal and put it on evaporus, okay, to remove the rust. I let this metal sit outside and you know, in LA, a lot of rain, right? <laughs> so it got all rusted. I cleaned the metal already, but this is gonna clean all the oxide. Limpiador de oxido super seguro. We're gonna use that. Let's cut the metal and get ready, guys, cause we can't stop. There's always something to do. That's why we keep moving on. Let's go. All right, guys, we got everything ready for today. Evapor rust evaporates the rust and our box is gluing i guess i'm gonna watch formula one mm. <laughs> bye
guys. So, I'm here again to tell you that shit happens. Uh, what happened at this time is that the camera settings mysteriously changed to slow motion. So, I have all the footage in slow motion. Good thing is that I can fast forward a little bit and you guys got to see all the making process. Another good thing is that you guys don't have to hear me rambling all the time because it didn't record my voice. So, the speaker is ready. Kind of. We finished the front. That's the front of it, okay? On the back. We got those little pieces here inside. You guys can see it. I added those. So, we have the... The rear baffle, we're gonna add uh, like this foam tape and this is gonna be here. The port's gonna be here, okay? I'm gonna attach the port soon. So that's what we made so far. Ay caramba! Okay. Ow! Okay, I cut uh, some space for our plates. Those are gonna be our metal legs, okay? So I cut this on a router and the speaker might be ready in a bit. I applied the finish and it looks great. Now, I guess I'm gonna keep showing you guys the whole process. Maybe it's gonna be a shorter video. I don't know, we still have a lot. We're gonna install the amplifier and the speakers and the crossovers. <sighs> Let's move on, guys. <laughs> sound barrier and we have the drivers and the crossovers I'm gonna start adding the, the sound barrier and wiring the drivers and attaching the drivers let's keep moving guys I want to see this thing ready now let's do it
then, so guys, now we need uh, the ports. I already calculated the box, so I've got the ports. I'm gonna get the ports ready, installed, and the box sealed and ready to play. Then we're gonna install our amplifier. But guess what? We need crossovers and... I have something that I have to share with you guys. I have the crossovers ready and I'm gonna post the crossover scheme on the screen right now. Okay, so you guys can copy it and have the same results or change it a little bit. We have to keep moving because it's a lot to do and we're gonna go get the crossovers ready. All right, move on. Amigos, <laughs> it's kind of ready. We need the legs. After the legs, it will be ready. But for now, we are going to listen to it. See if the crossovers are working, the ports are working, the bass is working, the highs is working, and the mids. <laughs> Let's play something. It sounds good. I liked it. We're missing the legs. I have to finish the legs.
guess we're done. Now, for real, that's our sound bar, the bar. And guess what? It sounds great and it looks even better. Now it's the time. I'm gonna ask you to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to add me on Instagram so we can chat. I'm gonna post all the information you need for this build on the link down below. So feel free to copy this design and try and make it at home. Make your own. Ask me anything, okay? Now I gotta tell you guys, just sitting and watching YouTube won't get your project done unless you're watching Sonora Design. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon.